Missouri decided to be kind to us and only get to 37 last night. So I got to leave all of my plants in the hoop house except for my tomatoes and peppers. So I'm feeling pretty, I'm feeling pretty good this morning. I actually, um, I got to sleep in. I didn't have to get up to 6.45. 6.45. peppers. I got to 37 degrees last night so I got to leave all of my plants inside except for my peppers and tomatoes they stay in the barn at night until it's about 50 degrees and everybody out here is looking so good I'm so happy I tried the hoop house it's just my regular trellis that I use to grow like a climbing hummingbird vine on and uh, I decided to try my hand at hoop housing. Um, I can grow in the barn because of the south facing, south facing uh, greenhouse plastic that's on it, but this gives it more uh, heat and it gives it more during the day and it gives it more sun throughout in a more natural, in a more natural way because it's like right over its head. Uh, I love it. I will, I wasn't sure I'd make it a permanent space. I'm still not sure. I might still take the plastic down since it was really easy to put the plastic up. And then all I did was, once the plastic goes up, I said, well, can't really see it because of the angles. But these, there's boards along the side. They're just, uh, there's two boards, one on the inside, one on the outside. They're smushed together and drilled. It holds the plastic down. And there's also rebar that holds it all down to the ground and it's up against some raised beds. So it doesn't go anywhere. And then we had some really nasty winds never moved it never never damaged it or nothing so I'm pleased but yeah this morning 37 degrees I only have one two three four five six seven I only have seven plants to move trays to move today Yay! yes yes happy Friday <laughs> These are the tomatoes. They're a little over two weeks old now. I planted them the, I think March 5th. Um, last year I planted them March 3rd. And this year just happened to fall on the 5th. Or I think it was the 5th. It was the, I think it was like the end of the first weekend of March. Um, 
I know they look tiny for March, but since I don't put my pepper, peppers and tomatoes out until May 1st, because I don't want to have any of those um, late freezes, and I don't want them getting under 50 degrees until the soil temperature is much warmer, these things will be small trees by May 1st. They will start taking up a ton of room in the, in the greenhouse, in the hoop house. By May 1st, if I don't get them in the ground, they will have to be potted up. I don't really like potting things up. And once they hit the soil and that summer or spring heat that we get, they grow super fast. So the earliest I'm going to plant any of my tomatoes are the first weekend of April. My peppers are the first weekend of March. My peppers was two weeks before the tomatoes since they are smaller plants they do take a little bit longer to get established but these tomatoes grow like trees so they will be huge come may 1st so if you didn't get your tomatoes planted it's not too late go ahead and get them planted get your seeds going get them it's plenty of sun it's plenty of heat during the day now get them get them sprouted and then just start moving them out every day and put them on your front porch put them on Put them anywhere where you're going to get nice, good sun exposure. Uh, yeah, they stay they stay in here. And if I don't vent it, it gets 100 degrees by 10 o'clock. So it gets nice and hot in here. The tomatoes and peppers love it. There's some other crops in here that don't love it that hot. So I do have to vent it, which I don't mind. Next year, I'm going to try to go for a permanent space. I'm not sure if it's going to be in this exact spot or if it's going to be just over just a little bit where I have some in-ground gardening. I may just give up my in-ground gardening, but it's asparagus, potatoes, and strawberries this year. So it might be okay in a hoop house, but I haven't really researched it that far. But I definitely want to do another hoop house for next year. Just, I know it's inconvenient to have to move them out a few times a week. It's not every day in, that I've had to move them out. I've had to move them out twice this week and then put them back in at night and bring them back out so it's not terrible. There's some stuff that can stay out like your parsley, cilantro, a few other things that can get to that 32 and not, not you know, uh, suffer from it. But for the most part, everybody is doing great. They didn't mind it at all. Um, yeah, so the hoop house is a win for me. Uh, it's unheated, it doesn't have any fans, it doesn't have any solar power, it doesn't have anything out here. All I do is I just, it's south facing to north opening. So I'll open one or both ends, just really depends on the, if it's going to be really cloudy or really sunny. And then I just let the natural wind blow through and it works good now. I only intend to use it for germination and getting the plants up and going. So I don't have to have like you know, permanent fans or anything, because it's not my intentions with it. I just needed a, a season extender. I needed to be able to start my plants earlier so that I could get them in the ground between April 15th and May 1st, and this is exactly what this hoop house does. It's what they're intended to do. Usually they're not meant to be year-round growers because it's really hard and wasteful to try to have to heat them if you're not, like, set up really well to heat. Um, yeah. So, hoop house extending season, win for me. Do some scooching. I do some scooching. Scooch, scooch, scooch. There we go. Perfect. Just what I needed. Okay. Y'all have a good day.